So if we do a bit of a, an appreciative inquiry around this, I'm just going to ask about what is, you know, what works. What, what do you think of, like on our whiteboard over there, when you think of a learning community, what needs to be there? For you, think about the powerful ones that you've experienced. Uh, when I reflected back on the School of Leadership, yeah, yeah, there were these pieces and structures, but fundamentally, what I loved about the uh, experience was the bonding, the connection, the friendships that were formed that we heard up here on the video, the um, the memories that were built because we did things and then now we had memories and stories that we, re we were creating. We are creating our own culture, right? Think of the learning communities you've participated in or are participating in and what are some of the things that you notice about them? What, is, what are the um, attributes they possess? I can't do all the work. Diversity perspectives. Trust. Trust. Purpose. Sharing. Ideas, diversity. Support. Bridget, the phrase that comes to mind for me is all for one and one for all. So it does take in some of that support, and uh, but it's, it's, it's that sense of there's someone that has your back, and uh, we're all striving together for the same thing. We've got Tracy from offline or online, and she's saying common goals. Okay, I'll stop there, just because it's an illustrative uh, exercise. And we've got some great things, and I think many of you would share some of these uh, same ideas and concepts. Um, and remembering back, the reason I chose this approach was remembering that my initial uh, experience with learning communities was this loss. You know, I had it, and then I lost it, I thought. And that's where this comes in, this process comes in so well, right? Because you're, you're, it's not lost but you do need to go through the process of figuring out, well, what do you feel like you've lost? And I felt like I had lost that because we weren't going to be meeting in the morning anymore. And I thought we'd lost um, some of this because where's the opportunity and space to do that, okay? But you can see right away I'm jumping to and off of these things to what's actually um, what I think uh, is constraining me or making me feel like these things are lost is that, well, it's not at 8.30, so therefore this is lost. Uh, we're not going to be meeting at a regular time, so this is maybe lost, and maybe some of that, and maybe some of the clarity around our common goals, and maybe even the sense of all for one, you know? The fact that we're not meeting at 8.30 is going to cause all these things to disappear. But if we take the time to do this inquiry, we drill down to, actually it's about presence and support and trust, and there are so many ways we can create that. It doesn't have to be at 8.30 in the morning, or 9 or 10 or 3 or whatever. There are lots of ways to create these. So drilling down to those principles is critical and was critical for me because then I could work with my colleagues to generate other forms of community. Right?